Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Place Prepared. Place Prepared podcast is about manifesting and the law of assumption. This includes success stories, Neville Goddard analysis, manifesting tips, and much more. In this episode, we will be going more into depth on what it means to live in the end. I've done a video before on the difference between thinking of the end versus thinking from the end. But here I want to give you more practical tools on how to know if you are living in the end. First, let's establish that living in the end is a Neville Goddard phrase, term, whatever you want to call it. He says, now this is what I mean by living in the end. Robert Frost, just the year before he departed the sphere, wrote the story for Life magazine, and he said, The founding fathers did not believe in the future. What a shock. That they did not believe in the future. They believed it in. He said, We are always imagining ahead of our evidence, and the most creative thing in a man is to believe a thing in. Living in our end means that what we want is here and now. We dwell in what we want as if we already had it. Every time you use a technique, that technique is there to help you achieve the feeling of the wish fulfilled, aka get you to live in your end. To live in your end means that you claim yourself to be the one you want to be here and now. Most of you who are listening are familiar with living in the end. If you are not, welcome. What I realized is that sometimes folks will say, I'm living in my end and this happened. I'm living in my end, but it's not here yet. If you were living in your end, you would not be saying that. Here's an example. Your desire is financial freedom. So you live in the end as a person who is financially free. Let's say you don't have a job right now. And you're living in the end of a person who is financially free. You find this amazing job that ticks all of your boxes, but you get denied. Your next reaction will tell you if you are living in the end or not. Not living in the end will make you think, how am I going to get money? Why didn't I get it? Etc, etc. But if you are truly living in your end, you are not even phased. You'd probably not even check if you were accepted or denied. It is not, I will feel loved when I am married. It's not, I will be happy when I get this job. Do not wait another moment for the world to change in order for you to feel the way you want to feel. The 3D cannot change unless you do first. It's not the 3D changes so I can change. No, it's I change so that the 3D changes. You are it now. You must make then now and make there now here again living in the end is that you are now who you want to be or that you are now the version of you who has what they want it's not in the past or the future it is now now that we've established that you might be asking why is it hard to live in the end actually it's not hard it's all a decision neville says but i'll tell you one thing do not concern yourself with the means always go to the end Dwell in the end and you will hurt no one. But if you try to devise the means, you are, well, messing the whole thing up. You want to be happily married? All right, go to the end. You are happily married. If you believed yourself to be who you want to be in your mind, who would you hurt? If I believed in my mind that I'm a multimillionaire, who am I hurting? No one. So I might as well feel what I want to feel. Then you might say, Yeah, but my circumstance. You cannot wait for your circumstances to change in order to feel the way you want to feel. That's backwards. Living in the end will have you thinking of your circumstances differently. Let me give you an example. I went out clubbing with my friends and I offered to buy us drinks. When I saw the check, I was like, damn, that's expensive. Then I started to worry about it. Quickly, I snapped myself out of it and I changed my reaction. I went back in my mind for like 10 seconds and felt what it felt like to be financially free. Then I was like, let's go buy drinks again. As a financially free person, yeah, it's expensive, but I can afford it. I don't need to worry about it. I could easily say these are my circumstances, but the meaning I gave them shows me what state I'm dwelling in or what end I'm living from. My favorite all-time quote by Neville is, You are already that which you want to be, and your refusal to believe this is the only reason you do not see it. To truly live in your end is to feel that you have become who you want to be. It's okay to fall out of it. When you notice that you did fall out, that means you need to practice being in your end more. Check out my previous episode on how to persist. You have to get to a point where you are completely unshakable in the end. I want to clarify if it wasn't that clear already. Your end is not a person or a thing. Your end is being in a specific state. What I mean is if I were to ask you why you want to win the lottery, 
you might say to buy a house or do whatever you want. Going further, your end is being a person who is financially abundant and secure. What you want, the reason we want things, is because we think that this thing will give us a feeling that we want. But what you truly desire is a specific feeling to be a specific version of yourself. When you truly live in the end, you feel like you are that person and the world and everything in it will give you more evidence of that. And not just evidence, but you will attach a different meaning to things. It's like when someone makes a joke. One person can think it's the funniest thing on the planet, while another can take great offense. Whatever end you are living from, you will know by how you react. So if you want to know what end you're living from, ask yourself, if I was the person I wanted to be, how would I react to this? What would my thoughts be? If it doesn't line up with your desired end, get out of it. Overall, make living in the end fun for yourself. Explore your end and saturate yourself in it. You are allowed to feel happy, loved, wealthy, beautiful now. It's not something in the future. You are it now. Don't wait for anything to change because it is all waiting on you to change. Thank you for listening to Place Prepared Podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. You can give a follow to Place Prepared on Instagram for daily manifesting content. Happy manifesting!